So I want to go back into the the kind of the first topic that we talked about, which is um, the strength it takes to make a decision that is best for both you and your partner at this point in time. Um, and let me start it this way. You know, reconciliation is a very selfish act, if you think about it. Uh, it's, a, it's you basically saying, my partner wants to leave, but I don't give a shit about that. Right? I don't give a shit about what she wants because I don't want to leave. And when you try to reconcile, you're basically saying, I want to, I want, I care about more of what I want than what my partner wants. Um, and so that saying of like, if you love him, let him go. It's kind of like we're going along this scenario where I think a lot of people, they're operating from such a place of fear, insecurity, that they cannot let go of their partner, despite the fact that they know that their partner may be better off finding someone else. They know that they are maybe better off finding someone else in the future, but they're just operating from such a place of fear and insecurity from low value that they're afraid to let go. And one more thing I want to say about this is, you know, in the program, we tell you and your partner to don't be afraid to explore. Once you learn kind of like the basics of relationships and you master the basics of the internal shifts, don't be afraid to explore and allow your partner to explore too. And a lot of people get really offended when I say that. And they, they, they like paint me a villain. They crucify me when I say that. But what I always say back to them is, if you're so afraid to allow your partner the freedom to explore, then all that means is that you're so insecure about your place you're so insecure about your value that you're afraid that she will find someone better. But if that's the case, it's like, then why are you blaming her? Blame yourself, look within and say like, maybe you shouldn't be as low value then. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. I mean, I think that's, that's huge because, you know, I kind of, with my new partner experienced that a little bit where she's, she's a very good looking woman and she's very, um, uh, she, it, I, she has this quality about her that just brings people in. She's very magnetic. And all the time we'll be out and she'll get approached by both men and women. And if I didn't have the security in our relationship to know that, yeah, she's going home with me. Like I, I would get really upset by that. And that's something that she's asked me in the past because it has been a, pro a pain point with previous partners is the mm -hmm. jealousy. And I was able to say authentically, it just kind of came out of my mouth. I said, I'm not worried about that because if, if you are even questioning that you might want to go be with somebody else, that's my problem. That's my problem because I need to be doing the work where you're not looking anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And that it's, it's just refreshing. And if anything, it's relaxing to be in a position where I don't feel like I have to clutch on and hang on and do all this excess motion to try to keep her attention on me. I just have to keep working on myself and, building my becoming self and being the best person I can be and everything else just falls into place. And it's really magical how that happens. Yeah. And same thing with my relationship too. It's like, um, like a lot of macho, uh, alpha, like mentality. They're always like, they have this thing about like protecting women, right? Protecting their partners. It's like, if someone were to hit on you, I I'm going to say something to you. I'm like, is that really the strongest display of like what, a masculine display should look like. Like, I feel like it's a lot more strength to go, doesn't bother me because I know I'm, I know my value. Like, I'm not going to yeah. be rattled by this kind of petty men and petty stuff, petty events, you know? It's like, you want to hit on my girl? That's fine. <laughs> Kudos to me. I got her. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think also, the, the thing I want to touch on too is, um, Like, I think it takes a lot of strength again to finally say, okay, partner, if you think leaving is the best for you, right? I'm going to let go this, my attachment to reconciliation, right? That takes, I think, a lot of strength. Um, 
compared to the fear that people are in where they know, I think deep down that their partner wants to leave, but they don't want to leave. They cannot let go because they are operating from that place of fear, from the place of low value, from the place of insecurity. But again, I want to bring this back to the, te the tetheredness conversation again. When we do this, when we are saying like, partner, I'm going to let you go. It's not hopeless indifference. It's not you saying like, well, fuck you. I don't give a shit about this anyway. And hopeless indifference reminds me of like, like some little league kids, right? Like one day they love baseball. Oh my God, I'm winning a game. I'm, I love baseball. Then the next day they lose miserably. And they go like, mm -hmm, I hate baseball. I don't want to talk about <laughs> baseball anymore. Yeah. It's kind of like, like a lot of men behave like that though. It's like yeah. when their partner is like wanting them, they go like, I love my partner. And then when partner is like unhappy and going away from them, what an idiot. I don't care about them. Fuck them, right? And it's a very childish thing to do. And, and tetheredness is not any of that. It's coming from that place of, again, like effort and surrender. It's like, look, no matter what you do, I'm still going to be operating the same way. If you want to explore, partner, go ahead. But I'm still going to continue my, uh, my progress of growth, my process of growth. And if you want to come back to that, great. If you find something better, also great. But this is a place where you're no longer so worried about what you want anymore. It's really you're now thinking about what is best for my partner. And I think that's such a more noble thing to be at. And when you can get there, you create a space when, when people come to you. They come to you because they want to, not because you told them to.